What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. Today I have a bit of an oddball video, but today we are going to be doing a viewer requested topic, and that is going to be what do I look for whenever I'm trying to find a new long reliever for my team in MLB The Show? And uh, today we're specifically on MLB The Show 21 on Next Gen, and let's go ahead and jump into the topic. So we've talked about starting pitchers, relief pitchers, closing pitchers, all that good stuff in a variety of different ways here within the channel. We've talked about what to look for at each specific position and everything like that, and we've even gone as far as to diagnose what the demands are at each position, including long relievers. And so specifically in today's video, we're going to be talking about the demands of a long relief pitcher and what we're looking for whenever we try to find one to play that position. So the first thing that I look for whenever I'm talking about a long reliever is somebody that first and foremost can cover multiple innings. This is somebody that, as I've mentioned at other points on the channel, is somebody that's going to come into a game that, you know, is generally going to come in in low pressure situations and try to work on their stuff and eat innings. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're getting blown out in like the third inning or you have to pull a pitcher in the first, second, third, fourth inning or something of that nature. Well, what's going to happen is a lot of times you're going to bring in what's called a long reliever and bring that person in to bridge the gap until the end of the game, try to keep things at a reasonable score. Uh, but there's not a lot of pressure to, you know, keep things, you know, low scoring or anything like that because you're probably already getting blown out. You already gave up a bunch of runs. It's probably not a close game. Now, that's not to say that a long reliever won't come in in a situation for an emergency or some type of situation where somebody gets hurt and it is a close game and they do need to keep the game close. Um, but generally speaking, this is just somebody from a base standpoint that needs to be able to cover a handful of innings. Basically, they are a sixth starting pitcher in a sense, and that is the way a lot of MLB teams actually treat a long reliever. To elaborate on that a little bit further, the way that a lot of teams actually treat the long relief position is a extra starting pitcher that is just working on their stuff and trying to work their way up to the majors. So a good example here would be this prospect, Cole Wilcox, here on Tampa Bay. He's a 23-year-old with uh, a potential 74 overall, just working on his stuff to get better in the hopes that he can eventually take over in a starting pitching role. Now, there are various different ways to go about this. Some teams look for young prospects to come up and play this role and develop into a good MLB starting pitcher because, again, this is a low-pressure type of situation. Some teams will call up pitchers and have them pitch in their starting rotation, and if they don't quite have it, instead of sending them to the minors, a lot of times they'll send them to the bullpen and have them get those long relief reps, again, in low-pressure situations so they can continue to work on their stuff even though they're a quote-unquote failed pitching prospect. They they can continue to try to develop, and a lot of starting pitchers have actually had success in dropping out of the pitching rotation, into the bullpen, into this long relief role, and then working their way up back to a good uh, you know, starting rotation type of a role. That happens all the time. So what do I look for specifically in terms of a long reliever? Well, the first thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for somebody that has a minimum of like 40 stamina. You know, that is going to be like the bare minimum, the absolute bare minimum for a long reliever. But as I scroll through long relievers here in the MLB, you're going to be looking at starting pitcher type of stamina in the 70s. You know, you generally want to have somebody that has that starting pitcher type of stamina. Now, they, these guys aren't always going to go the same amount of distance or the same amount of innings as a starting pitcher would, but they, they got to come close a lot of times. And so you're looking at starting pitcher stamina. And so the first First thing that I look at whenever I'm trying to select a long reliever for my own team is their stamina. It has to be solid enough to bridge that gap or I have to, you know, like let's say for example I'm this, this Giants team. I have a guy up with 39 stamina. I have to trust in my other relievers to be able to come in and play a couple of innings to bridge the gap because I know that this guy's not going to last a whole bunch of innings. And so there's a couple of different ways that you can play it there, but you have to be very well aware of the stamina of this player in order to really capitalize on the position. 
Okay, so beyond that, what am I looking for in these players in order to utilize them at that long relief position? You know, what am I trying to work on here with these guys? Well, like I said, these are project players a lot of the time. So number one, I'm looking for a player that is lower than 29 years old. I'm looking for somebody that is, you know, honestly can be as young as possible. It could be your extra pitching prospect within your system. Let's say you have a pitching prospect that needs to get called up soon, bring them up and set them in that long reliever role and let them get starting reps in the MLB. Uh, you know, reps against actual competition in the MLB. You could bring that type of a player up. A lot of times, let's say you have a good minor league pitcher that doesn't quite fit into your rotation or fit into your plan. A guy like Kervin Castro here that only has C potential, a really solid starting pitcher down here in the minors, but's never going to see starting time because of all these A's and B's in front of him. I'll take this guy and bring him up to the bullpen and put him in a long relief position. So I'm looking for somebody that has room to grow first and foremost. I'm looking for somebody that has a couple of seasons that they can get better and maybe find themselves in a better role eventually down the line. But then the final thing is beyond that, I'm looking at a couple of specific stats that I want these players to be able to build upon. I want to have a player that can build themselves maybe into a reliever role or maybe into a starting pitcher role. And so for them to be able to do that, you're generally looking at somebody that has high velocity, high control, or high break, one of the three. You're looking for a certain type of pitching type. Now, a lot of times, I'll take what I can get. You know, it doesn't have to be anything specific. When I'm looking at the long reliever position, I'm looking at a position that is flexible. This guy might surprise me and work his way into the rotation. He might just work his way into a regular relief role or something of that nature. And so I'm not looking for velocity in particular. I'm not looking for control or break in particular. I'm just looking for somebody that has a skill set that could work in to one of those other roles on the team. So if it's somebody with really good velocity like Melvin Adon here, he could work himself into a really nice reliever role if he gets his other ratings up. And you guys can see he's got really good velocity. He's got really good Ks per nine. That's somebody that could be a very solid asset in the later parts of the bullpen if he can work himself uh, to that point and can build himself up as a player. Now you can also look for somebody that has really good control combined with their stamina. Maybe that's somebody that could work their way into a starting pitching rotation. Or you could look for somebody that has really good break. I know a lot of guys look for somebody that has break. And so my recommendation in answering this viewer's question is this. When you're looking at that long reliever, try to find somebody that can work their way into the rest of your pitching rotation somewhere. Uh, whether it be your bullpen or your starting rotation, try to find a player that can get, jump into that long relief role and has the makeup of what you want somewhere else within your pitching rotation. So whether you find a guy that has the makeup of a potential starting pitcher for you, or you find somebody that has the makeup of a closer for you, try to find somebody that has that makeup that you specifically like and bring that player in and put them into that, that long reliever role. Like I said, a lot of times I'll try to bring in another starting pitcher. I, maybe it's a starting pitcher that's struggling elsewhere. You can very often find starting pitchers that have low ERAs that are, you know, in the mid seventies that might have some amount of potential within the rest of the league. Um, you know, like a fifth, a fifth pitcher here, Antonio Senzatella. This is a guy that's a 75 overall not pitching super well he's 28 years old with b potential this is a guy that has pretty good stamina has you know reasonably good ratings in the rest of his categories decent break decent velocity this is a guy that i could bring in i could toss him into that long relief role and i could be happy with that knowing that he has a couple of years where he could get better he could really serve as an inning eater for my team in that part of my bullpen and so that's one of the strategies that i utilize is i will go around and look for struggling starting pitchers elsewhere and try to bring them in as a long reliever. And then beyond that, like I said, I will look within my own organization to find guys that might have the makeup that I'm looking for there at long reliever. You know, I could potentially look at some of the prospects within my own organization for a long reliever. I know a lot of people like to look outside of their organization for long relief prospects or players that can play that role. Um, but 
I like to look within my own organization because another thing that I always have in mind whenever I'm evaluating this role specifically is let's say one of my top five starting pitchers goes down with injury. Well, who's going to take over for that starting pitching role? Are you going to bring somebody up from the minor leagues or are you just going to promote a guy that is already in the MLB? And what I like to do is let's say any of these top five starting pitchers went down with an injury for me. I like to promote somebody from my bullpen to take over that starting pitching role because this is somebody that is already getting major league action and I would rather thrust this person from my long relief role into the starting pitching role and then bring up a new guy and put them in the long relief role in order to give them low pressure situations to start out in the major league level and so that makes sense from my perspective that makes sense in my head that's not how it's always done in the major leagues and that might not be the way that you want to do it. You might want to call a guy up straight to your starting pitching rotation to replace one of these guys, and you might never want to have this long reliever go into your starting rotation or work his way into the other parts of your bullpen, and that's fine. It's all about how you want to address that position, but I'm just telling you, this is how I like to focus on the long relief position. This is how I like to address it, and hopefully this information is valuable to you in some way or helped you or maybe sparked your imagination as to what you want to do with that position. Hopefully this answered the question of the viewer. Uh, like I said, another viewer requested video today. If you guys have any more viewer requested topics, any games, anything, let me know in the comment section down below, anything you could use help with. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you have a good one.